Hello everybody, Fabricio here. Uh, just a heads up on my previous uh, posts about the holy uh, space entry. So I just wanted to give you uh, like an overview of my COP3 uh, for creating this kind of retro video game look. So this is like the video. <laughs> So you can see we have all sorts of like uh, TV glitches and like uh, pixelation. So let me go through those effects uh, with you. So yeah, let me start with here in the COP network. So sorry, let's pause this. So the render itself is very simple, um, just like a feel, like very simple colors. Uh, you don't want to get too like too many textures. Uh, your render needs to be as flat as you can. Uh, I mean, uh, like color palette wise. Uh, even for this like planet on the background, I think like looking right now, it's too many, uh, too much information. But anyway, you like to go clean uh, before getting to this process. So what I have in here is the render itself. Um, then I have this very, very cheesy logo <laughs> uh, that goes on top of that. So nothing new here. Uh, now comes like the first part, which is I like to outline my characters, like to really like try and make they, them pop from the uh, rest of the uh, screen. So I also render masks. Uh, it's render in JPEG. Uh, yeah, I know JPEGs, but <laughs> anyway, uh, so I have to create a new alpha channel for it. Then I have an edge detection uh, node and you see it's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. We are going to like uh, do all sorts of like um, imperfections to the image. So right now it's good. Then I have a dilate road node uh, just so if I want to uh, like tweak uh, this uh, line. Um, crop just so if you have like the thickness it's going to create like an area around your your uh, render so you can crop it uh, let's get back to that what it was and finally we can just create this uh, channel copy node which you will set the color of your outline so in this case this like purple thing and you can multiply and that's what I get so before and after um, then what I do is I add some noise to it. So this is the noise I add to that. You can see more, more on the like uh, dark areas like that. Uh, then this quantize node. So this is very important uh, because this is going to shrink your color palette. So you, if you really want to mimic old games, old games didn't have like a, like a huge uh, color palette. This is a like a, a very nice and easy way to mimic that. And you can set the like the pixel step. Uh, the more you go, the less colors you have to work, and it, it can really resemble like DOS game likes, <laughs> and it's very nice. Um, another option would be to really like get get very uh, like very specific and go to the platform you want to target. For example, let's say you want to target Atari and check the color palette for Atari and instead of using quantize nodes you just render with Atari's color palette and you are good to go but anyway I went for quantize um, very important here so here curve is just a, like a placeholder if I want to change like the uh, saturation uh, it can uh, work quite well um, then I go for the pixelization effect uh, very simple just scale down and scale up again it's nothing more than that and it, it as you can see right away it gives you like the video game look uh the only important thing here is that you always want to use like the point uh filter uh so that it doesn't uh, so the, the edges doesn't get uh, they don't get blurred when you scale so you get the nice like stair stepping um and after that you let me check what i have in here so yeah why not i press start uh, blinking title um, so to create this first I have uh, like a regular font node and then I have this color which is a black color and it's just to make that blink uh, where is it 
so let me check there you go so it just makes that blink and for the blinking is just an like little expression here uh, then I have created uh, this ramp to create like very cheesy chrome like uh, reflections uh, then again same thing for the Carter uh, just an edge detection some dilation um, crop and this is the color of the outline so gray color multiply those and you can really see the outline in here we can change that so you can see right uh, yeah so let's move on uh, again same thing scale down uh, scale down scale up again so that we get the star stepping uh, pixelation effect before and after um, then we just transform to some place on the screen and finally we can over the two right so already looking good um, and now we start creating the TV glitches so TV effects uh, first I created uh, this uh, is a VOP generator I have created some scan lines um, if we multiply we get this nice like feeling to it again before and after uh, the other thing I have created is this oh sorry uh, this color bar thing here or not color is a black and a white bar thing uh, that is animated and yeah I have controls for all that like speed and such so again uh, VOP uh, cop generator I'm not going through all like this is like mainly simple math uh, well it's, it's a bunch of nodes but this is mainly sim simple math here so I again I multiply that and it's very subtle uh, you won't be able to see that I believe uh, like in the comp itself but when you play you can really like have the notion of some like small glitches going on um, and then what I have after that is uh, some color stripes which I do some blur and they are animated uh, for animation I have again scripts on the face here uh, then I crop and I overlay so for overlay and there you go you can see the like the full effect uh, well for overlay I think cops doesn't have any overlay operations I believe so I just created these myself it's um, again just search for overlay operational math and you get the math and you just recreating that uh, in cops uh, this is a cop filter not a generator uh, yeah but there you go you have the color stripes running up and then I have let's see yeah this is some kind of vignetting in effect it's just to mimic old uh, like TVs um, where you get like the darkening areas uh, on the um, on the side here so we can again multiply that and you can just change the ramp if you want more or less of that effect like this uh, and after I multiply I find that it starts becoming too dark so I just create a new levels to like pop that up again and now it's like up until here is something that I like do for all the like this kind of retro game looks uh, now this one is specific for this uh, scene where you wanted to pop the character more from the background so I just use it uh, like the character mask I had in here to do some level correction uh, to make that a little bit brighter and finally uh, a hue node to take uh, the saturation down a bit and there you go it's popping, it's popping much more from the background uh, now I have an, yet another noise on top of everything so there you go I don't know if you can see that very subtle um, now the next thing is I want to create like the distortion effects so for that I create um, yeah uh, uh, some colors here and this is creating a cop filter to distort uh, like to get these like distortions on the side of your TV um, 
again it's subtle uh, you can see the distortion amount here right so very subtle just a little bit of distortion and uh, with this X farm here you can control if you have for example a 4 by 3 ratio so like really mimic t old TVs um, and yeah for and just a, like a blur after everything just to give it a little bit more of an old feel and we multiply that with our uh, call with our uh, other nodes and there you go uh, again if you want to go for like a very old game with, where you have these square uh, proportions um, yeah so that is basically how I created this in it's very cool to be honest I have tested those on some uh, other uh, on some other uh, renders and you can get quite really nice looking results so here are some more examples uh, this one you can see the before like the animation <laughs> Uh, and the final result so you can see the animation is very smooth and I also have created tools to like get an animation that is very smooth and fluid and make that into a more like step it animation with easy controls for this kind of old game look uh, yeah so just throw in some cool 8-bit music on top of that and you're ready um, I have this other one which was created for like uh, just a test when I first started developing this technique and finally this Batman Because why not Batman, right? <laughs> so yeah, you can you can create very funny, uh, very fun animations with this technique. And uh, if you want to give it a go, I will um, gather everything and put that inside an HZA and uh, put that for download on my Patreon. So be sure to check that uh, link on the descriptions. And yes, yeah, so hope you like it. Until the next one, take care. Bye bye.